Well, on today's episode of Forward Night Customs, or Ohio Hot Rods, working on the 63 Chevy 2 Nova. Gonna take all the bolts out of the front end. I've got a rust hole there, and I've got a spot here. It's getting kind of rough. Using my Milwaukee drill. And then, under here, you can kind of see the floor. It's got a new floor pan in it. Um, I'll move this stuff away so you can kind of see. I'm trying to film this stuff by myself or something else. I don't know how other people do this on their phone. But, anyways, there's some stuff that I was going to put an LS in here, but I'm going to go back car ready V8. I've got the intake. I've got three of the gauges. I've got to do a little part of the floor there because the new floor doesn't have that part. And then I've got backing brackets, new spindles, and a couple other stuff. I got an old style radio for it, uh, clamshell mounts, um, but all the, the bottom of the fender's got a little bit of rust, but. And the seats, they just need cleaned up. They're not ripped or anything. Um, I am going to need a headliner. Oh, I got that 1963 plates for it. I think, I think we're going to put it back to white. Um, oh, I went to Columbus and went and got these uh, vehicle dollies, all four of them. They're Pittsburgh, but uh, $60. They were on Facebook Marketplace. Can't beat that. Um, I got a bunch of exhaust piping over there and mufflers. Um, I'm going to build a... I might build a dual exhaust for this. But uh, the engine for that... Oh, yeah. Also, she's uh, cleaning out this... My wife. Cleaning out the Saturn view and my kids. Got the bolt in going. We're cleaning this thing out to sell 04 Saturn View Redline. It's got the Honda J35 3.5 liter V6. All wheel drive, 240 horsepower, I believe. But we're going to be selling that thing. It's got 190 on the clock. Probably going to get like 25 out of it. 2500 out of it. It's rust free. But. Outside, it is icing currently. There's my Dodge Dart with 36,000 miles on it. I need to get a tarp on it ASAP. And there's our current ride, 04 Honda CRV. It's got 18 inch Jeep Compass wheels. We're gonna take them off because they're starting to rub. But uh, I put a aftermarket Bluetooth stereo in it. And this is the motor. I'm gonna have to cover it back up. I covered it for you guys. It's a built 355 and I think that's a 400 turbo. It's a built transmission. Anyways, and that's her project. 96 Camaro SS. And over there underneath is a, a 96 Chevy Silverado 350 Vortec with the uh, torque converter. I just don't have enough room. There's the 64 Corvair just setting out. The 2011 Silverado, rust free with 140,000 miles, just setting out. 2017 fucking Silverado. I gotta get the motor pulled on it. Then I got the driver suspension fixed on this uh, 05 Mercedes C230 compressor. It's got the 1.8 liter supercharged four cylinder. I got the driver suspension all fixed with a new rotor. It's already starting to rust. But uh, I gotta do the passenger side. And then uh, I gotta go ahead and I'm stripping all the interior because it's all dirty. I'm putting all new parts from Rock Auto. I got the new uh, lower and upper A arms, the uh, cross drilled rotors, they're Brembo rotors on it. And uh, it's got a Pioneer doubled in. But I'm putting all black leather interior in it. See, that's where I started doing the door panel. Switching it all over to black interior. But this will be a nice car. I traded my uh, my 2005 Ninja for it. 
but that'll be pretty cool. And then I gotta switch, find out what why it's knocking on that. I know it egg shaped the crank and the uh, main bearings are bad, but to what extent I don't know. I'm gonna have to plastic gauge him. And then this summer I gotta take that office trailer and paint the outside, power wash it, paint it, because uh, that's uh, gonna be our for our car lot. And then there's our slide-in truck camper that we got to redo the inside. I got to put that LS3 that's inside. I got to put that in the 99 Silverado still. I said I was going to do that and didn't. Got caught up, you know, with family work. But, uh, yeah, I will let you guys go and uh, get back to working. So have a good day. And hopefully things are going better than... And over here in Ohio, because it's icing like crazy. Peace out.